Hi everyone. In today's video, let's learn about how to become a Java full stack developer. Like step by step, we can see about it. What is the salary for that? What are the skills and technologies required to learn? Uh, how we can learn that? And what are the other tools we need to know? So everything we can see here. Who is full stack developer? Before seeing about it, let's see the salary of full stack developer. It is approximately six lakhs per annum. Without any experience, you can earn up to this much. So why they are paying this much to this position? What is the speciality of it? Full stack developer is the one who develops both client and server side. Let's understand this with help of an example. Uh, we know Facebook, the application, whatever you are seeing in the browser or your app that is called UI, which means front end. Then you are trying to do some operations like uh, sending message, creating post, those things request backend this backend in turn it will contact database which is nothing but where all the details will be stored all these details will be fetched by the backend and it will be processed and shown in the ui this is a simple example of how a web application will be working here what is the role of full stack developer means they will be working on front end back end and database yes completely from top to bottom these full stack developers will be working now let's discuss about the technologies required to learn to become a Java full stack developer. For that, first you need to become a Java developer. So let's see the backend technologies first. Start with OOPs and core Java concepts and be clear in that. This will take some time to learn. So spend as much as time you can. Once you have completed this, then go for advanced Java concepts such as uh, JDBC, servlets, JSP like that to know completely about Java. Then learn about frameworks one of the popular frameworks is spring uh, so start with spring to know about the basics of it and then go for spring mvc which is nothing but a module of spring and then learn spring boot even directly we can develop application by using spring boot uh, this will be more easier but before learning about it uh, it's required to have the basic knowledge of spring so start with spring spring mvc and then go for spring boot then learn about RESTful web services which is very very important topic because nowadays most of the applications required to communicate with one another so for this communication this web services is required you can pick anyone from this list like jersey or apache cxf or rstc let's learn about the technologies which are required to work with database you need to know about one query language uh, it is mainly used to interact with the database and retrieve the information and also you can do some operations uh, like viewing the data, creating new data or deleting it. The popular query language is SQL. Then learn about one database like MS SQL Server, MySQL or Oracle, uh, DB2, MongoDB, anything you can learn. This MongoDB is no SQL database and it is very popular. Okay, now we have learned about Java and database but these two should be connected right for that we require something called ORM which is nothing but object relational mapping so in java everything will be objects whereas in database it will be relational that is tables and columns uh, manner it will be stored in database so uh, for connecting these two we require one technology that is called ORM uh, some of the popular uh, frameworks are hibernate ibatis spring data jpa Let's see the front-end technologies. For basics, start with HTML and CSS. These two are used to create a simple web page. Uh, here HTML is used to uh, like create a structure of that web page, whereas uh, CSS is used to add uh, some more designs or style to that page. Try creating some pages, web pages with this. After that, start JavaScript. Uh, this is used to create a uh, interactive web pages uh, by using html and css we can just uh, show whatever uh, we have written in the code whereas by using this javascript we can make the web page more interactive with the user after this learn some frameworks such as angular or react js or Vue js uh, but basics of this will be uh, html css and javascript other than these technologies whatever we have seen so far uh, there are some more tools need to be known let's see that ide that is integrated development environment here only we will write our code uh, some of them are eclipse netbeans visual studio then uh, try creating by using uh, build tools such as maven gradle 
except for testing you can learn some technology such as uh, JUnit, Makito, Karma, Jasmine. Then for version control system, Git. This is mainly used for uh, team collaboration as there will be many people working in a team. Uh, we need uh, some system to uh, like uh, maintain the code. Then CICD, uh, Jenkins, uh, Docker, these are some deployment tools. Just a basic understanding of uh, how Jenkins is working and how to create a project, uh, how we can uh, make our code to deploy in that, that is enough. No need to know like a DevOps engineer. Then uh, learn some cloud technology such as uh, AWS PCF.